Hi, I'm Nicole, and you're watching Plain Jane MTV. I'll tell you what, pour yourself a beer, have a seat, I've got a story to tell you. Back when I was a pretty new road rider, I decided to go on a grand adventure and signed up for an across the state road ride called Oklahoma Freewheel. It's in the summer, it's hot, it's humid, it's Oklahoma. And I loaded up my bike and off I went. I was having a great time, but all week long, my chamois and my saddle literally chewed a hole through the skin on my undercarriage. I asked everybody for help. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know why I was doing it. I thought I was the only one that was doing it too. I asked the ladies in the shower and somebody told me to put deodorant on my buns. And let me tell you what, that did not work. And it stung like hell. Um, some other friends said powder. Didn't seem to do anything. I tried Neosporin. That didn't really do anything either. So for a week, every night I would go to bed and things would scab up and then I would get up in the morning and it would start all over again. I had a good time, but as far as the lady parts go, it was the most miserable week of my life. Later that same year, I started road racing and someone finally told me about chamois cream, axle grease, you know, butt butter. Well, maybe you don't know, and neither did I at first, obviously. So let me get a little scientific on you. When a typical road or mountain biker sits on their saddle, the bony anatomy that they're actually sitting on are their ischial tuberosities or sit bones. You're in the saddle, out of the saddle, off the back of the saddle, and between all of this movement and your soft tissues getting caught between the sit bones and the saddle, you get friction. So how do you reduce the friction? Chamois cream. Please note that if you are having pain in the buns or down your legs, numbness, tingling, chamois cream isn't gonna get it. You need to get fit for your bike so that all you gotta do is deal with the friction. So how do you use this magical lube? Ideally, you would start before you get kitted up. Wash your hands and then put on your padded shorts or your liner about halfway up and then go ahead and smear a pretty decent amount right here where your sit bones are gonna sit. Then put some more on your skin where your sit bones are gonna sit on your pad on your saddle. Where's that? Well, it's right where your buns meet your legs. Two little spots, smear it on in there, get it going. Now, if you didn't start before you get kitted up, that's okay. Put a bunch in your hand, down into your shorts, and just get it everywhere you can. Also, don't be afraid to put it in places like where your leg creases are or anywhere else where skin might touch skin and cause some friction. Whichever way you do it, use plenty. The hotter, the sweatier, the longer the ride, the more you should use. Better yet, take one of these like single use jobbers and apply some more axle grease mid ride. Also, triathletes and time trial riders, they sit on a completely different part of their anatomy, so they may need the lube somewhere else. Wherever you've gotten friction, hit it there. We're all built a little differently if you've had any chafing, loss of skin, friction, that's where you should target. Now, I bet you're wondering if like chamois butter, you know, paid me to do this. Nope, not true. They're just the only ones that make it in a 32 ounce pump bottle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can comment below or you can just direct message me on Instagram or Facebook. I don't mind. Some people get a little weirded out by that. Either way, if you like this video and you want to watch more, please hit subscribe. Click the little bell and you'll get notified when my next video hits. By the way, 
I got to 100 subscribers and I think even a little bit more. So now I have my own URL and I'm gonna get some stickers to celebrate. So watch out for that soon. I'm Nicole, thanks for watching Plain Jane MTB. Thank you.